Hey, it's Brenda. So I am getting ready to put this on the rotisserie, and this is a pineapple. Um, so I've already cut it up, or cut it up the top of the bottom and all the sides. So I'm gonna put it on our rotisserie. Uh, so this is our this little spit. I'm gonna leave this on there. I think it should probably be okay. Um, but so the uh, pineapple is gonna go up into here, and then I have the other side. So this is the hardest part, putting, which is gonna be really easy, right? Um, okay, so it went through. Just make sure that it goes into our little forks, and then um, I'm gonna put this fork in. You can see it goes in there, and then put the um, screw in. And one thing, this is another hard part here, lining it all up. Um, so once, obviously when it gets out, it's going to be hot. So that's where I, okay, this is the hardest part. I lied to you. Um, I use those micro grips to hold the spit itself. There, there we go. Um, and then I use toaster tongs. Yes, they're just bamboo tongs to undo the screws because they are piping hot. Okay, so um, so those are a couple things I use when I do the rotisserie. And this is a very, very old model of the powdered sugar shaker, but I put in um, some cinnamon and more cinnamon than I normally would if I was gonna make like a cinnamon um, and sugar toast. Um, I have done this, I'll tell you a couple of the secrets that I have done. Um, one time I put a bunch of uh, brown sugar and the cinnamon on top of that. Basically, as soon as it hit the oven and heated up, all of that melted off, so that didn't work. Um, last time I did just the cinnamon and it definitely needed some sugar. So this time it's mostly, or there's a lot of cinnamon in here, but there's sugar too. So we'll see how this works. But I love these um, for what I'm doing right here. And obviously for powdered sugar, they're great for um, your flour too. If you're, you know, when you're baking, making those sugar cookies. And let's get this side. And this is ready to go in the rotisserie. So this is an awesome dessert, let me tell you. So I got it nicely coated, you can see that. And I'm gonna put it in the rotisserie and I will, well, come back on. And I was just gonna say, I'll take a picture and post it, but I'll come back on when this is done so you can see what it looks like. Okay, see you later. Okay, so I just got it out. Um, I cooked the pineapple on rotisserie for 60 minutes. And this is what it looks like, so. Of course, it's top heavy. I'm just gonna show you how I do this. So this is the retrieval tool that you'll get with your um, air fryer also. So like I said, we need to get this off of the um, spit. So here is my, and it's a set of two. These are toaster, or my, I had to go look at microwave. Um, grips, but I absolutely love these for my air fryer. Um, they're great when you're um, transferring and moving up and down your trays. But for this, you can just grip on, and then here are my toaster tongs. Love the toaster tongs. I do not burn my fingers anymore when I use the toaster. But it's great because this is piping hot. Because the uh, rotisserie setting is 400 degrees, and literally this just came out. So that might be enough. Mm, no, I need to undo it with some more. And a lot of times I'll take a knife, but I don't have the knife with me right now. Still not enough. I'm just gonna take it out. I typically don't take it out of there because I want to, there we go, it's not tight. Um, I don't want to lose it, so I'll, I'll leave them in there a little bit, but anyway, so this is ready to go, and you can see that there's some burnt on. I literally just put these in a uh, 
bowl with some water and let them soak and it comes out right off. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna cut this up into slices and we're gonna enjoy some air fried pineapple. Okay, everybody, if you have any questions, let me know.